From the University of California, Davis, this is Newswatch. Autism, it's the fastest growing developmental disability in the nation. One in 110 children face an autism spectrum disorder. Here at the UC Davis Mind Institute in Sacramento, the focus is on finding answers that will someday lead to a cure. But they're faced with a considerable challenge, a lack of human brain tissue to study. This information is necessary for us to understand what is causing the disorder and how we can treat it. Now the Mind Institute is launching Brain Endowment for Autism Research Scientists. It's a new program to raise awareness of the vital need for brain tissue donations and to help establish a network that links similar collections for scientists across the country. Every brain that we receive allows us to do uh, more research about autism. No one ever wonders or thinks about losing a child. Valerie Hund lost her 16-year-old son Grayson, who had autism, in 2011. As we were up all night grieving, we thought, what could we do? The Hund family decided to donate Grayson's brain tissue to autism research. While we may mark the donor box on a driver's license without much thought, brain donation is rarely discussed. The Mind Institute hopes to change that and in turn change what we currently know about autism. We're at a bottleneck. We can't do certain kinds of research because we literally don't have the material to do that with. It, it really brought us to a point where we knew that even though in our tragedy, Grayson lives on. In Sacramento, I'm Kristen Samos for Newswatch. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.